Hello everybody, how are you doing today? This is a quick video because I uh, wanted to show you some new revelation on the Rashad structure that I have been looking at over the past couple days. There's no secret to some of the other megalithic structures I've found. But this one here is kind of something that popped back into my head and I I thought, wow, uh, I need to do a quick video just in case. Uh, let's take a look. So, as you guys know, the Rashad structure has a bunch of megalithic type of canals. I always talked about this one here and this arc. And there's a couple of other small canals that I've shown. Let me move it into... 2d first and then I'll go over there you know I do think there's an definitely an ancient shoreline around here you can see it and the shoreline seems to have a couple of different layers whether or not it's before or after the big flood I think it has to be technically maybe be, you know I don't know after but the thing that I want to show you, let's make sure it's north, uh, is here, this mountain ridge. You know, the flooding that brought all the sand in this direction, it got caught up here on this ridge here. And I always wondered how they got to the ocean from the Rashad structure. If, in fact, it had anything to do with this canal here or this canal here I've already talked about this but what I didn't talk about and I'm gonna change the angle one more time is I mean this canal on the right is 20 kilometers long and the one on the left is like this short part here is is really long as well but if you take a look at the angle of this I don't know if I can get the if you look at this canal, I'm going to move it over here to the edge to make sure it matches up with the... I think it needs to be a little bit more. Let's try that. I mean, it's not perfect, but it kind of goes right with the edge of the side. I can do it again. So it's like here, so I can do it within the view. It's It goes right over here to the edge. It's... And now let's go to look at this other one right over here. If you look at that, it's actually perfectly parallel to this other one. They're both the same. Now this this angle, it's a little bit askew. It's not perfectly straight up and down. And this one here also not perfectly straight up and down. So if you look at these two canals, what you realize is these are parallel. Now this keeps going up. And when it gets up here, it's not so parallel anymore. But that's also been hit by sand and, and changed. There's a couple of other up and down lines at this point. I was looking over here. Let me zoom out a little bit. At this one here, the Atar line. I'll put it over here on the edge. That one also is like the exact same angle. I know that that's not really the main thoroughfare that I was looking at before, which is right there. So we've got this Atar line going up and down. I don't know if that's even a canal, but these are definitely canals, and they're, they're parallel lines. Let's zoom back in, and you can look at them for yourself. The one up here, the one right there, and the one down here, literally parallel lines, and you can see it go through down to this river here. This one here, it kind of messes up and then comes out to an emptying river. So you've got this this river and of course it's a dried riverbed but both of these canals and they are canals they are grooves in the ground I mean we can get right into it and look at it if you want you can see it's a it's a it's a canal it's it's parallel it's it's not just a river it's a canal and the one over here this one it starts it's kind of messed up but then when it gets down here it gets a little more clear and I think that you can tell very quickly that that's more than just a like a river it doesn't wind like a river a river winds 
I, I'm not saying that it's not possible for a natural straight river for 20 miles, 20 kilometers. And this one gets a little bit messed up as well, but I've looked at this canal and wondered how it got from one side of the mountain to the other, which is here. You can see this this edge and perhaps during the flood the sands went up against this and created that edge. I mean, are these canals pre-Andaluvian? This isn't a history lesson, this is a history question. So please leave your comments below. I look forward to your feedback on this. If you don't know where I am, I'll back out one more time. We're between the Eye of Africa and Cape Miric, or I don't know what this cape is called now. Nuong Magar. So this is the, the outlet of the Taman Reset River. Whether or not it was north or south of Nuamgar or Cape Miric is a big question in my head. I believe it was north. I believe it came out right here. It's all covered in sand now. So it's tough to really know where this separation was, especially with the increase in sea levels. You know, they talk about, and you see it here in this picture, the island of Atlantis being in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And I've heard many different ways, but when I read it, it was beyond the pillars of Hercules, beyond the pillars. Now, this is definitely beyond the pillars of Hercules. But what you look when you see this picture is that the place that I think it was is right over here. Also beyond the Pillars of Hercules. And you actually have a concentric circle to show it. But when you look at the different places out here, you, you might have enough room for concentric circles, but you certainly don't have enough room for the level planes that Plato wrote about. Now this is a mis mystery right here. That's a mystery. But that's so low, I don't believe that it would have been above, say, this plateau, which is also under the water. That plateau is under the water. That's not an island. That is an underwater plateau. And there have been talks about whether or not this was the location of Atlantis. But what you can't see is those level plains. This is too small to be the size that Plato described. I talked about this in a previous video so when you're talking about the location of Atlantis the only place that has a space large enough for that level plane is right out here and I've shown you again and again the different relics the different lines that you can see out here and different what look like dams but a long time ago could have been canals so I'd like to take another look at this. I'd like to see more about this. I'd like to visit this one day. And yes, let me make sure there is that up and down. Let me get it up and down. Okay, so that's up and down. Well, not yet. Let me try it one more time. That's up and down now. And then we go over here and we find this one. And that one is up and down as well. A perfectly parallel set of ancient canals. Thank you very much. I hope you can help me look into this. Give me your feedback and uh, let's pray for let's pray for the USA and its big problems with the riots that are going on in LA and, and Minneapolis and New York. Thank you. <laughs>